What's up, YouTube? Slow Mo 8 coming at you. Give y'all a quick video of one of my AR pistol builds. It's going to be my first time actually behind the camera. Been making videos for years now. Most of them been car videos. A lot of people know me in the urban car community for my cars. But there's another thing that I'm heavily into. I'm very heavily into guns. I'm heavily invested in guns. I have a few. But give y'all this quick rundown. This is my 9mm AR pistol bill. It is clear. It's built on a EDT tactical blower. I actually was looking at some reviews today. And I think they went out of business. I actually bought this lower, I think, in 2017. It has a Spikes Tactical Lower Parts Kit in it. A Rainier Arms Upper. You see that? With a Alpha Shooting Sports Boat Carrier. Moving down to the rail. It has a Stinger rail system on it with a BCM hand stop. The barrel is a Ballistic Advantage 8.3 inch barrel with a CAC Industries flash can. I think that's what it's called. Diamond head flip up sights. A Hollison 503 G, I think, with the ACSS reticle. Red dot. <clears throat> Mounted to a American Defense quick detach mount. On the opposite end, has a SB Tactical SBA3. Brace on it. Strike Industries charging handle. That's pretty much it. Oh, on the inside, for the buff and the buffer spring, I have a 7.5 inch. I think it was KAC Industries. Oh, not inch. 7.3 ounce buffer tube. I know I got it from Joe Bob's Outfitters. I think that's KAC Industries. 9 millimeter buffer tube. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Fun little gun. <clears throat> it's actually one of my home defense guns. Representation. It's an ETS. Yeah, ETS mag. I don't actually use those for home defense. I use the standard Glock mags, but that's it. 8.3 inch AR pistol. I love this gun. What got me into the pistol cal caliber carbines was the Caltech Sub 2000. I bought one of those a couple of years ago. Then when I built this, I ended up selling the Caltech. Like this a lot better. Everything's tight. That's my... Nine millimeter pistol bill. I think I got some pretty good parts in it. It's not top of the line parts, but it's not any straight crap parts either. So it's been a hundred percent reliable for me. Haven't had any issues with it. Maybe at a thousand rounds, but I am OCD. I clean it every time I shoot it, and 
load it back up. And I like to keep my guns clean. Some people don't clean the guns, but that's my 9mm pistol build. Slow my weight, signing up.